Hey guys, it's Fisola Coffee and here, and so this monster analysis video, we're going to be going over Konecro, and I'm going to be telling you guys why you should get him out of his current breeding event. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Alright, so Konecro is an attacker, and he's a pretty great one. His traits are at rank 3, he gets dodge area, which is amazing. And then rank 1 is bad with blind immunity, and rank 3 is okay with anticipation hater. Rank 4 is precision, and then rank 5 gets good again with AoE ignition. So yeah, obviously his best is rank rank 0, but rank 5 is really good as well. And then his relics are sword and mask, which are pretty decent. And then if we go down to his pros and cons, you can already see that he has a lot of pros compared to cons. And his pros are good tortures and hellfire and burn, which are both very good. He also has great damage output. He has PER before damage, which is very amazing for an attacker. Not many attackers have that. He also has a good trait, great relic slots, anticipation hater in a galavanous meta, which doesn't really matter anymore because this isn't really the meta. He has an amazing setup in Oni Kisi, which gives cold blood, positive effect protection, and double damage, which are all great. He also has a massive zero cooldown skill, which is great. He has insane damage skill at zero stamina cost, which is great. He also has very low cooldowns and mostly low stamina cost on his other moves as well. And he has the third highest collective power stat, which doesn't really matter, and he has good speed. And his only cons are dark monster and high stamina cost on some of his strongest moves, which he does have low stamina costs as well so this one doesn't really matter and obviously this doesn't matter either so yeah let's go on down to his move so he has a 50 stamina zero cooldown which does 65 fire damage which is pretty powerful he also has a self damage boost with a 50 dark damage move which is pretty good he also has 40 fire damage with self precision and he has dark damage with hellfire which is pretty good and then he also has an aoe 35 fire damage with burn and that is his unranked move set so if we go on down to is a ranked moveset. He has a 75 fire damage with a zero stamina and one cooldown, which is a great move. He also has an AoE 40 dark damage with Hellfire, which is another pretty great move. He also has a self cold blood with double damage and positive effect protection, which is really good. But that one does cost 65 stamina, which is crazy. And then he has a positive effect removal with 60 dark damage, which is a very good move. So yeah, overall he gets much, much better when ranked. His unranked moveset is not near as good but it is still decent but yeah if you want to use this monster definitely try to get him ranked and yeah that is basically all you need to know about Konecro he's got great traits at least he's rank 0 and rank 5 and he has great moves when ranked up so yeah, let me know down in the comments if you guys are going to get Konecro and I'll see you guys in the next one over to like share and subscribe goodbye